Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to turn some rings, could be one, could be more than one, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I got these ring blanks from my uh, friend uh, Steven Gibson. Uh, you can check out the video description at the bottom uh, if you want the link to the shop where you can buy these uh, ring blanks. Uh, these are, well I don't know yet because I haven't turned any, but they look comfortable enough to use, they thread on and off so you can slide the piece of wood inside so that's a nice trick but you're going to have to be very precise as well so uh, the wood of choice today is either this interesting piece of uh, ebony and I got some heartwood and some sapwoods and I'm thinking maybe take a piece uh, from this part here let me see if I can focus there we go from this piece here so uh, some parts of the rings of the ring will be in black and some in the brighter color of the sapwood so that's one choice and uh, I got a few pieces of uh, nice olive with some nice grain and spalting to them so I might go with one of these or one of each maybe we'll see how it goes so let's take it to the lathe and uh, turn some rings
Sum this up. This is the before and the after. Line two. There we go. This is the before and this is the after. Now I think the buffing wheel took away a little bit of the shine that the original ring had, and I think that is probably the light coating of carnauba um, carnauba wax on the metal itself. So probably the next time I'll do it. I'll try to buff the wood before I put it in the ring. When I don't think it, oh, it will fit me. It sits nicely, a little bit of bling here. Uh, but this is intended for my wife, so... Well guys, I want to thank you for joining me in this week's video. Uh, again, if you're interested in these ring blanks, you can find them down here and in the video description in a clickable link so uh, make your way there buy some uh, ring blanks and I hope to see you back in my shop really soon Stick around here for two 